It's Tuesday, August 13th, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is The Master's Claim as Son of Man. Our theme scripture is taken from John 12, verse 34. It says, The people answered him, We have heard out of the law that Christ abideth forever. And how sayest thou, the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Hallelujah. In various instances, the Lord Jesus referred to himself as the Son of Man, and the Jewish people understood the profundity of those words. Pastor begins, Oh, they knew that he claimed to be the Christ. For example, in Matthew chapter 8 verse 20, he said, The foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Also, in Mark 14 verse 62, he said, I am, and ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Luke chapter 9 verse 26 tells us, For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed. However, Pastor says, it's crucial to understand that in these various instances where Jesus referred to himself as the Son of Man, it wasn't a generic term denoting his humanity. He wasn't describing himself as a Son of Man but as the Son of Man, indicating a specific reference to Daniel's prophecy in Daniel 7, verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Praise God. Daniel's vision of the Son of Man coming with the clouds of heaven is closely connected to Jesus' proclamation during his trial before the high priests in Matthew 26, 59 to 66. The high priest had asked Jesus if he was a Christ, the Son of God, and he replied, Yes, it is as you say. Jesus replied in Matthew 26, verse 64 of the NIV, But I say to all of you, in the future, you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. The high priest immediately accused Jesus of blasphemy, tore his clothes, and declared that Jesus was worthy of death. The council agreed, affirming that Jesus should be condemned to death. By calling himself the Son of Man, Jesus was actually asserting his identity as the Christ. Hallelujah! All oh, this distinction was clear to the Jewish congregation who recognized the weighty implications of the Lord's claim. The Son of Man was a title of the Christ. Jesus is God in human flesh, our great God and Savior who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works, as we find in Titus 2, 13-14. As to concludes, Father, this is phenomenal. Thank you, dear Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Hmm. Right now, let's take a confession, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, saints, Dear Lord Jesus, Thank you for revealing yourself to us as God in human flesh. I acknowledge and confess that you are the Christ, the embodiment of deity, my Lord and my God, and the reason for my existence. Thank you for your everlasting love, grace, and tender mercies. Hallelujah. All right then, for further study, Matthew 16, 13 to 16 says, When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others 
Jeremiah's, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Wow! Next, we have Mark 8 verse 38. It says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with his holy angels. Praise God. Finally, 